Welcome to Seize the Mains by Raj Malhotra's IS Academy. I'm Sirbi Sardana and this is season 3 of our Daily Answer Writing Initiative. Ye initiative, this initiative is running every day from Monday to Saturday in coordination with our website which is rajiasacademy.com. You can see this in saffron and white color here. On our website in this Mains Answer Writing section, agar aap is tab pe click karte, if you click on this tab, a list of questions will appear under the heading daily mains answer writing challenge. So basically this initiative is to groom you and to prepare you for mains whether it's for state civil services or for union public service commission that uh, whatever exam you're targeting start writing answers and if you have written like a few answers only continue writing answers with us it's the 101st uh, 101st question that we will be discuss, uh, discussing today with regards to gm mustard gm mustard is a related discussion it was taken by mr madhu reddy sir today at our youtube today on our youtube channel in the weekly current affairs discussion so uh, dmh mustard dhara, uh, dhara mustard hybrid that has been approved by GEAC genetic engineering approval committee so with regards to that a question has been formed now what you can do is watch this full video after that pick up your pen and paper try to write the answer on the question that I'm going to display this is the question seems very long and seems very tough just like UPSC questions UPSC mein jaise mains mein question aate hain waise hi lamba aur kafi tough question lag raha hoga but here in this initiative we teach you step by step how to write answers answers aap kaise lik sakte hain kya cheeze dalni hai kya cheeze nahi dalni hai and how to get more marks with every answer with every fact that you incorporate in your answers also this is in this initiative is entirely free of cost mo answer up likhe hamari website pe upload kijiye and our team will revert back with their feedback in the comment section just uh, like you post your answers here in the form of pictures or type your answers and our team will evaluate your answers in the next 48 hours and give them uh, give to you their valuable feedback so that you can improve on a daily basis so what is the question for today the question is what is the transgenic hybrid mustard dmh 11 that has been cleared by the genetic engineering appraisal committee for field trials so a lot of tough words here but when you are reading the question in the first go have a pen in your hand try to underline the keywords there if you are practicing writing this answer on a pen and a paper after this note down the question pause the video note down the question and when you after writing down when you see what is the question is underline the keywords so what is the transgenic hybrid mustard mustard that is dmh 11 so dmh 11 yeah transgenic hybrid mustard that is the topic of conversation here this is the topic that has been cleared by GEAC genetic engineering appraisal committee for the field trials so GEAC has cleared DMH 11 for field trials this is not your keyword GEAC is not your keyword but there is some information that it has been cleared for field trials after passing the field trials this hybrid form of mustard will be available for commercial use and you should news here with regards to hybrid mustard this has been uh, a contemporary affair since 2002 jab se jab se ye variety mustard ki banai gai thi jab se transgenic variety banai gai thi tab se ye news mein hai so now it has been approved for field trials our topic is clear now the directive for first part of the question is what so you have to tell what is this very simple kya hai kya nahi hai we study this information for prelims also so our first paragraph will be ascribed to this second one what is the controversy surrounding it controversy obviously rahi hogi jo cheez 2002 mein lai gai thi wo abhi tak commercial use mein nahi aai hai so what is the controversy surrounding it second part is this why is there a need felt for introducing gm crops in agriculture now this is a big question why is there a need felt now this is an open-ended question up char needs like sakte hai, punch like sakte hai, thus needs be like sakte hai, that why do we need gm crops for agriculture answer in 250 words so the question is very direct it is very straightforward there are no directives like analyze critically analyze or comment bohat hi simple straightforward question hai. let's see what we will what approach we'll take to answer this 
So first paragraph has to be your introduction like always. In introduction what we do? We talk about the topic that is given in the question. We talk about the topic in the question. We talk about the topic in फ्रेंड के साथ कॉन्वर्सेशन में हो वी आर स्टार्टिंग अ कॉन्वर्सेशन विद अ फ्रेंड अबाउट दैट टॉपिक सो व्हेन यू आर राइटिंग इंट्रोडक्शन टॉक अबाउट व्हाट हैज बीन आस्क्ड सो व्हाट हैज बीन आस्क्ड द इंट्रोडक्शन द क्वेश्चन फॉर इंट्रोडक्शन इज वेरी क्लियर टू यू व्हाट इज डीएमएच और ट्रांसजेनिक मस्टर्ड सो वी विल टॉक अबाउट ट्रांसजेनिक मस्टर्ड इन आवर इंट्रोडक्शन देन वी विल हैव आवर बॉडी पैराग्राफ one the second part of the question asked you what is the controversy about this so here we'll talk about controversy now controversy cannot be very long to controversy mein aapki maximum 3 se 4 lines hongi aur 3 to 4 points then in the body paragraph 2 we have been asked why do we need gm uh, why do we need gm crops hame gm crops ki जरूरत क्यों है वाई डू वी नीड टू इंट्रोड्यूस जी एम क्रॉप इन आर इन आर एग्रीकल्चर सो ह्योर नीड और बेनिफिट विल बी डिस्कस्ड इन योर बॉडी पैराग्राफ टू सो लेट मी टेल यू इंट्रोडक्शन विल हैव योर डेफिनेशन एंड इंट्रोडक्शन टू योर हाइब्रिड मस्टर्ड ह्योर यूल टॉक अबाउट कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी की जो लास्ट लाइन होगी यू विल टॉक दैट आफ्टर अ लॉट ऑफ रिसर्च जी ए सी हैज फाइनली अप्रूव दिस for field trials so this will form your linkage point here and this will also go in relation to your question in the body paragraph 2 we are talking about needs and benefits then we also need to give a conclusion conclusion chahe aapka ek line ka ho ya char lines ka ho conclusion has to be there in every answer otherwise it appears to be a very broken or very unfinished answer so in the conclusion what you can write You can talk generally about GM crops. क्रॉप्स यहाँ पर आपने जेनरली बेनिफिट्स के बारे में बात की है इन योर बॉडी पैराग्राफ टू सो इन योर कंक्लूजन टॉक जेनरली अबाउट जी एम क्रॉप्स वट शुड बी डन टू इंट्रोड्यूस दैम वट इज द स्टार्टअस ऑफ इंट्रोड्यूसिंग जी एम क्रॉप्स इन इंडिया एंड वाई डू वी वाई डू वी नीड टू बी कॉशियस सो वील टॉक वट एवर इन्फॉर्मेशन वी एम मिस्ड इन आर बॉडी पैराग्राफ्स एंड दिस आंसर एंड वट हज नॉट बीन इवन आस्ट इन द क्वेश्चन वील राइट टू राइट वील ट्राई टू राइट टू थ्री लाइन्स ऑफ कंक्लूजन एंड वील साम अप इन दैट ऑल राइट सो इन द इंट्रोडक्शन लेट्स नाउ डिफाइन जी एम क्रॉप फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स स्टार्ट बाई डिफाइनिंग वॉट इज अ हाइब्रिड क्रॉप सो हाइब्रिड क्रॉप इज प्रोड्यूस बाय द क्रॉस ब्रीडिंग ऑफ टू जेनेटिकली डिफरेंट वेराइटीज दैट कैन इवन बी फ्रॉम द सेम स्पीशीज the first generated offspring produced with this technique usually will have higher yields than the parent uh, or the existing varieties to so, aap jo bhi hybridization se crops produce karenge they will give you higher higher yield higher produced as compared to the previous varieties that were existing so in this in these two lines this sums up this definitely defines your hybrid crops what are hybrid crops what are they DMH11 or Dharam uh, mustard hybrid 11 is a genetically modified hybrid variety of the mustard species yahan pe aapne species mention karni hai especially some scientific terms should be clear to you with regards to you know uh, GM mustard especially BT brinjal BT cotton they are like not much in current affairs right now but uh, uh, dhara mustard hybrid is dhara mustard hybrid 11 is so make sure that you know about one or two genes one of the genes that is important with regards to this so uh, mustard species brassica gentia it was developed by a team of university of delhi in around 2002 if you want you can add that line also with the aim of reducing india's demand for edible oil imports so in our introduction we just not explain the topic we also describe in one line whether uh, its features or its importance so here you have highlighted why was this even developed to reduce india's demands for edible oil import then dmh 11 was created through transgenic technology primarily involving the bar barnes and baster gene system so again if you are from biotech or biology background i'm sure you understand more about how uh, dmh11 was developed so make sure that you are not writing the scientific part in more than two lines don't uh, go beyond two to three lines especially in your introduction introduction should be very concise maximum four to five lines of introduction should be there not beyond that Now let's move on to a body paragraph 1 that talks about controversy. 
so this hybrid mustard variety has been under intense public scrutiny mainly due to concerns regarding dmh 11s potential to adversely affect the environment as well as consumer health so what you can do is in the controversy we have taken a body paragraph approach what you can do is just write down one two three and four points in your controversy so that you can uh, you can you know make your answer look very objective conflicting details and results regarding the field trials and safety evaluations conducted on this variety delayed its approval for commercial cropping so there was con conflicting details also and results regarding the field trials and safety evaluations it was even questioned that genetic engineering appraisals committee has not done a thorough research into this and they have approved this variety for commercial usage without proper research while there are other varieties of mustard other hybrid varieties of mustard available in the market so this should not be approved for commercial usage so this was the third point of your uh, controversy that talks about conflicting information and people or experts not trusting the research or the approval process that has been carried out by GEAC. Some experts have also expressed concerns over the DMH 11 mustard variety being herbicide tolerant. Being herbicide tolerant will make it which it will allow the farmers to kill the surrounding weeds without harming the crop. So they fear that excess use of herbicide on GM crops would increase toxic chemicals in food and soil since these herbicides will not impact, will not impact the quality of GM mustard. So again this, uh, this uh, makes your fifth point. Many people also believe that there are other hybrid varieties of mustard which give more yield and are less harmful. So in this paragraph we have summed up some around like five to six points with regards to the controversy. Since you are talking about controversy, you do not have to talk just about what is the downside of GM mustard. Sir, uske nuksan kya ho sakte hai, unke baare mein baat nahi karni hai. The question is asking you what is the controversy. So, in your controversy, you will talk about the potential losses also, potential cons. Or you will also talk about any misinformation that has been circulating or the process that has delayed its implementation. Now we move on to our linkage point now since uh, you know the third part of the question demands you to talk about the benefits or what is the need of having GM crops in Indian agriculture. So how so now you you need to create you need to give your answer a positive turn. Yeah, but you controversy ki baat ki hai, what was the controversy now we will say that however according to the research carried out by GEAC DMH 11 was found not to pose any food allergy risk and has demonstrated increased yields over existing mustard varieties whatever they are whether they are hybrid or whether they are natural mustard varieties so here you are creating a case to introduce the positive side of gm crops especially gm mustard so gm crops have the following benefits this will be a continuation to your linkage point the benefits are short and concise because uh, we've already covered a lot of we've already used a lot of words out of the 250 word limit for our answer so gm crops can address the challenge of food security how can they address the challenge of food security because right now we were talking about increased yield so uh, there has been estimated that there is 28 percent more yield with the help of gm mustard as compared to the previous variety so increased yield will help us address the challenge of food security also there is more income generation for farmers they will be able to sell more of the yield reduced use of pesticides and herbicides thus protecting the environment because not all types of weeds or uh, would be uh, would be surrounding the uh, gm mustard and uh, not all insects would kill it so they can withstand the challenge of climate change gm crops uh, they can also help uh, help India in reducing the import bill. We saw in the case of Russia, Ukraine war, war also that for edible import, edible oil import. For crude oil, we are all, uh, we are already dependent for more than 85 percent. Um, for around 85 percent of our crude oil, it is imported. But for edible oil also, we import a major chunk of our edible oils from other countries, and that gets affected in case of inflation, in case of any you know geopolitical turmoil. So we are not self-sufficient in edible oils also. That takes a lot of our forex reserve so they can help in reducing India's demand for edible oil imports India produces only 
8.5 or 9 million tons of edible oil annually while importing 14 to 14.5 million tons according to the latest uh, uh, latest report of the fiscal year that ended in March uh, in March 2022. So these are the potential benefits with regards to GM crops. You have successfully addressed all parts of the question. Now in conclusion, in conclusions we can be a bit more pedantic. Hum thoda apna viewpoint de sakte hai, hum ek way forward de sakte hai, what we feel is right as a citizen of the country. So GM crops are the way to go for future. We all understand that there are most of the countries relying on GM crops. India cannot stay away from it. India cannot stay behind for a very long time. Future agriculture given their immense benefits. However, with every GM crop that is introduced, we must understand the potential side effects and deal with all the problems before putting them into commercial use. Field demonstrations which are being carried out for GM mustard uh, currently, field uh, demonstration studies by Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change with respect to its effects on honeybees and other pollinating insects are a positive step. So here in the first part you have talked that yes there, there are problems with GM crops and they should be addressed before putting them into commercial usage. Here you are talking about importance of field demonstration before putting them in the hand of in the hands of farmers and general public and other uh, they are a positive step before introducing it on a large scale. So you have given a way forward also you have also appreciated what the government is doing by forming this intelligent uh, intelligent conclusion. So this is your full answer the entire answer will be uploaded on our website shortly by that time go through the video again try to frame your own answer post it on our website by Monday or Tuesday try to do it as soon as possible uh, because that that way our team gets enough time to evaluate your answers perfectly. Uh, also stay tuned to our channel it's weekend complete your targets keep working hard I'll see you on Monday with another, with another discussion on seized domains. Take care keep working hard.